Good morning, everyone. It is day two in South Carolina, and uh, we're hoping today will be a little bit more productive. We've got some boards to flip to start the day. I'm gonna pull that up. Of course, the first thing I flip and don't record, this racer comes flying out of the fold of this tarp here. First snake of the day, he is cold to the touch. It's probably about 53 degrees right now. That's what the car said. It feels a little bit colder, honestly. So we're gonna take some quick pictures and put this guy back in the start. All right, guys, of course I missed the flip clip, but we just stopped at this random little roadside spot on the way to the main area we're gonna be hitting today. And right there is our first timber rattlesnake of the day. And it's a good one. Cane break, come on. <laughs> Fine, Ian, it's a cane break. Well, it's still really cold, probably in the, the low 50s still. But uh, sure enough, first rattlesnake of the day. Think we'll see more? Hopefully, I think we should. Cool. Good looking little cane break. Really nice stripe on that guy. Alrighty, well, we're gonna leave this guy right here, lift his 10 back down gently, and see what else we can turn up. So there's a rat snake or a corn snake shed right there. And then under this piece, big rattlesnake belly scales. So definitely in a good area. So I just realized today's Halloween. So <laughs> we got a timber rattlesnake on Halloween. A what now? A what? <laughs> This is my first car hoodie in. It's got high expectations. Sheesh. Not a body. This one's getting a little bit of sun on it. Look at that. What do you think that's from? Rat snake? Um, it's a big shed. Yeah. Really big. So there's that shed, and down here at the bottom, inside the car hood, there's a timber. So I just gently poking him on the butt, <laughs> getting him to come out. Ian's got it blocked over there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Second timber of the day. More gray than brown. All right, guys, here is a look at this small adult cane break. Second one of the day. He's a little bit ornery, understandably. We pulled him out of his car hood. A good looking snake, second rattlesnake of the day already, and we're just now getting started. And there we go. Second timber of the day. And it's an adult this time. First one was a little juvenile. This guy's a small adult. I'm getting stabbed in the ass by a thorn. Anyways, we're gonna shoot this guy real quick and put him back under his car hood. Alrighty, timber rattlesnake, cane break rattlesnake number two for the day, back under her hood. Good ten. Is that a shed? Yeah. Yeah. What you calling under this? Uh, rat snake. Copperhead. Racer. Just a dangling. Come on, buddy. Whoop. Nobody else. So it's probably third most common behind uh, coppers and rats. He's a real dark too. Got that nice southern black racer look to him. Good looking racer, second one of the day. We're gonna put him back under his hood and keep flipping. Uh, they're on the side of the road. Yeah. Racer. Hey buddy. Cool to touch. 
Oh, nice. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> well, I'm glad that happened. Racer number uh, three for the day. Shed in there. That looks like a king. Racer. Plenty of these today. Another shed. Tons of sheds under this piece. There we have, what is this, number five already? Or is this four? Another racer. You gonna pull it up your way? Yeah. You got it. Copperheads, two of them. Very nice. Three of them. Wow. So we've got three copperheads here. Two of them are coming your way, Ian. I don't see anything in the ribs, but I can't really see them very well. Look at these guys. Three copperheads. So due to the fact that we're in this big overgrown field and there's copperheads everywhere, it's gonna be hard to get much better footage than that. But that was awesome. Three under one hood. All right, next one. We had a dry spell there for a minute, and then we had that really good flip with three copperheads. Just gonna have a cane. Or not. King. Or what is that? Yep. It is a king, isn't it? Yep. So correction, this is not a king snake, it's just a really yellow looking rat snake. I don't think we're getting him out of there. He's deep in the uh, car hood. What's under this one, Ian? Copperheads. Copperheads, plural. Nah, dude. Nothing, dude. Sincilla. Oh, nice. First one of those we've seen today. A little brown skink. buddy dude what's up hi you think they were doing the nasty in there together brother what are you doing <laughs> no snakes under that one obviously Racer. That's a big, big racer. racer. He dipped like a chip. Still there? No, there's still there. So I jokingly skipped a car hood, didn't record it. And of course, underneath it was this massive, beautiful, plain bellied water snake. First one of these for the day. And much different from the ones we see up in North Georgia. I mean, the ones up there are nice, but this thing is unreal looking. So according to Ian, this is a pretty typical look around here. These guys are just good looking snakes in general, but around here, I mean, look at that face, incredible. Anyways, nice addition to the species list for the day and I always love to see these guys are one of my, they probably are my favorite Nerodia. I love them. Anyways, we're gonna put this guy back under this hood and keep flipping. This guy's pretty chill for an Nerodia. Hasn't bit anyone yet, just pooped all over us. Look at that color though, that's just unreal. It's coming out pretty good on my phone too. Awesome. And a mosquito. You're not allowed to look under this one. I'll close my eyes when you flip it. Dead ass. I'm closing them. They're closed. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> my eyes were closed. <laughs> were you looking at the, Were you taking a video? <laughs> yeah, I, I flipped it, but my eyes were closed. Uh, I didn't even see it. There's a rat snake in the ribs. Too. What? Dude! <laughs> So when we walked up to that piece, I told Ian, I think I was recording when I said, I'm gonna close my eyes for this one. <laughs> so I'm not gonna see what's there. And uh, if you'll notice, I was dead silent when he lifted it <laughs> and he didn't say anything. And I opened my eyes, I was like, oh, there's <laughs> a giant game break. Definitely the nicest looking one of the day, I think. And uh, the biggest too, beautiful. And there was a rat snake in the ribs. So we might try to get that rat snake out in a minute, but we're gonna photograph this beauty. 
Well, timber rattlesnake number three of the day. We're going to see if that rat snake is in a place where we can actually get him out and look at him. And we're going to put these guys back under their tent. Hello, friend. I just wanted to get a better look at you if you want to come out, but if you just want to sit there and stare at me, that's fine too. <laughs> that's a big snake. Anyway, second rat snake of the day, and we're also not going to be able to get to this one unless he comes out. All right, Mr. Rat Snake clearly had no interest in coming out of there, so we're just gonna slip this timber back under the hood and keep moving. Go on. There you go. No, not on top of it. Ding dong. There you go. Awesome. Copper, big copper. He's nice, dude. I need a picture of him. Holy crap. Oh, crap. All right, guys, this is our fourth copperhead of the day. Nice pinkish looking individual that does not want to sit still. We just flipped. Anyways, oops, I'm being chased. Alrighty, well, this is copperhead number four for the day. We're gonna put him back under his tent and keep moving. One doesn't want to record. Oh, very nice. Another copperhead triple. All right, guys, three copperheads under this piece of tin. Right after that first copperhead we just flipped a minute ago. Our second copperhead triple of the day. Crazy. And apparently this is pretty typical for this area. Tons of copperheads. Yeah. All right, guys, well, these guys have been pretty chill, so we're just kind of gonna leave them right here how we found them. Copperhead triple flip. <laughs> you got a smile ax. You want to help me this one? Kind of yeah. Ready? Oh, slimy salamander. It's a first that we've gotten a good look at for the day. I think these are going to be South Carolina slimies here, so different from the ones you normally see in my video. Kind of neat. So there's my car over there, and here we have Black Racer number probably like 12 for the day there it goes we've seen a lot that just kind of are basking like that and they take off when we get close to them so i haven't been able to get much video then of course they all get away so Copperhead. i see oh yeah i see the head too very nice walking up to a hood and ian spotted this guy oh twitch he's almost invisible down in the grass you can see Part of the there. there we go. Hey, buddy. Am I being chased? Is that what's going on here? Oh, onto the hood for us. Got a buddy under here. Does not appear so. Slimy. Another one. He's nice looking. It's a new hood. Skinsella. Rat snake. Where's the copper? Oh, right there. I'm gonna grab the rat. This is two rats. Oh, we got a rat snake and a copper head under this one. Guy's sitting nicely, so we're just gonna leave him right there. We're actually gonna get a look at this rat snake since it's the first one we've been able to get our hands on today. Alrighty, well, big ah, Jesus, <laughs> why, dude? I was just about to let you go. I'm so sorry I inconvenienced your day of sitting around under 10 doing nothing. Go around back, I guess. Anyways, that's a little guy. Look at that copperhead inside this hood it's about four hips it looks like he might be coming out the bottom maybe can't tell anyways kind of cool first one of these we've seen up in a in a piece today this one's gonna be nice and warm at least sitting out in the open very nice 
number whatever for the day at this point. Rat King something. <laughs> What on earth? It definitely looks like a rat. Copperhead just fell. That's a rat. Rat snake there, copperhead down there. Oh. Did he climb up there or is that a different no, one? A different, that's another one? There's two copperheads in this one and a rat snake. I'm gonna hold that up, I can flip it. probably just knock it back at that point. It's all you. Go for it. Oh, layered. Oh, copperhead. Looks like that might be the only guy. Very nice. Good looking one. Copperhead Looks number whatever. Shed. Huh? Looks freshly shed. Yeah, it does. We'll do it after this little bit. Three line Three salamanders. Lines. That's a new one. What on earth? Those are probably county records. Oh, I should have got it. We can take a still. This is the reality of what most of today has looked like just barreling through vegetation, looking for cover. I don't like these things. <laughs> oh my God, they look like little alien, like egg pods. They're less painful than sand sprayers. But... Holy crap, dude. Look at that guy. Super awesome pair of copperheads under this piece, and there they go. I have. Is there uh, giving me the king vibes? These might. And with that, I can lift this. Big rat. Very nice. Hold that up a little bit prettier than the other. Look at this big handsome guy. Definitely the nicest rat snake of the day so far that we've gotten a look at. Look at that color. Beautiful. Just a big handsome uh these are sometimes called greenish rat snakes. Intergrades between what was once known as the yellow rat and black rats. You get this weird greenish coloration. This guy's a sweetheart though. Super chill. Alright. I'll let you go back to your tin. Thank you for existing. There's another first for the day. Marbled salamander right here. Underneath his big gar hood. Obviously we see lots of these guys in Georgia, so we're just gonna leave him right here and keep flipping. Nice ribs. There's marbled. Another one. Hey, buddy. Get you out of there. Nice. All right, guys. Well, it's 545, so it's looking like we're not going to get the king snake today that I was hoping we were. But we're going out tomorrow, too. So if these last couple things don't produce anything else, I will probably be making tomorrow into a separate video. So I'll be wrapping this one up pretty soon here, I think. So I couldn't see this guy under that piece because he was so far back. So we flipped it more, but really weird looking rat snake. This guy is real dark for this area, according to Ian. But pretty cool, might end up being the last snake of the day. Another good looking rat. All right, buddy. He's got a bolus in him. It's a meal right there. Copper heads, two of them. Very nice. Big guy and a little orange guy there. There we go, side by side. Yet another double copper head flip. Lots of these today. Awesome. And another cool looking, different looking pair. The 
it's a tube layer here. Yeah, I see. Well, maybe not. I can't tell. Nice. That's a pretty good one. Beautiful. Good looking erythrogaster. Check that out. Hello. Another beautiful plain bellied water snake. Chill, chill. Look at that belly. So awesome. One of the nicer Nerodia, for sure, and this one's even nicer than the last one. At any rate, still not a king snake, so we're gonna put it back under his tin and keep trying until this last bit of light is gone. Please don't bite me. All right, buddy, back under your tin. I know you uh, are gonna crawl across it on top of it, of course, but he'll figure it out. All right, all right, all right. I like what I'm seeing here. I don't know what I'm seeing, but I like it, I think. Oh, two rats under here. There's no one in a burrow back there. Yeah. Hello, Grumpy. I just want to mostly... Okay, chill out. I mostly want to get this guy before the fire ants get him. All right. Ow, 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 ow. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. All right. There we go. Nice double rat snake flip. There we go. Cool. Two more rats for the day. All right, I mostly just want to get a quick voucher of these guys. We're going to put them back under their tin. This guy's deep in shed. Really rounding off the numbers nicely here at the end of the day, though. Whoa! Chill, bro. Sheesh. This stuff is Batman. Racer. Right? Racer. Hello, brother. He's got a copper head in him. <laughs> Look at that belly. Ah! Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful belly. Well... This is probably gonna be our last snake of the day. But, like I said, we're getting out tomorrow, so if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. The next episode will be from tomorrow, so hopefully we'll see more. Hopefully we'll get a South Carolina king snake. I can finally add that to my life list of localities. So, anyways, nice little racer to end the day.